All right, guys, sorry, I know I look a little busted, but I just needed to preface this video. I'm very, very smart, and my microphone for this video fell, and the entire time I was filming, I didn't realize it, so the audio is, like, really messed up. So I understand if you don't want to watch this video. So just a warning, the only reason I'm still getting it up is because quite frankly, I don't have time to refilm it. And this was the look I wore in my It Cosmetics and Elf review and also my live. So at the very least, I at least wanted to show you how I created that look. So just a fair warning on the audio. I'm a perfectionist. I'm really bothered by the content that I'm about to put out. But due to the lack of time, just... Bear with me. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a video that literally nobody asked for, but I just want to do it. So I'm just going to be playing with the new ColourPop Hello Kitty and Friends collection. My order finally came in. I ordered the whole collection. So if you want to hang out with me, then just keep watching. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Like I said, nobody really asked me to review this collection, but I just really like Hello Kitty. So I want to play with it on camera. I think everything about this collection is so cute. Now I ordered this the second it launched and the problem with ColourPop is it always comes out on a Friday at 1 p.m. I always have a class coming in right at 1 p.m. Luckily, they come a couple minutes late because it's right after lunch. So I was like, because I teach virtually, if you don't know, I was like, all right, why don't you guys go get the equipment that you need? I'll wait right here. You have one minute. And in that minute, I quickly went on to ColourPop.com and I didn't want the whole collection. There was some stuff that I wasn't interested in, but for the sake of time, just to save me the stress, I ordered the entire collection. So that, that's why I got the whole collection. I actually didn't want the lip care set and the glitter set, but for the sake of time, I'll just order the whole thing. Um, right now I'm looking on the website and I can't give you any information about this collection because it's off. There's nothing left except for the palette. So if you are interested in the palette, this is $16, it's still available. The rest, nowhere to be found. Disappeared, doesn't even say sold out. So I don't know if it's gonna come back, but if you guys don't know, I'm half Asian and I feel like Hello Kitty was bred into me. So I love Hello Kitty, obsessed with Hello Kitty, had to have this collection. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we have is a Hello Kitty and Friends lip care kit. It's so cute and wintry themed. I went outside, it was snowing when this came and I took some pictures in the snow. And the caps are so cute. And then you have a peppermint cookie lippy scrub. I don't love the lippy scrubs. I know my lips are, oh, my lips are crusty busty. That's okay. Then we also got a peppermint cookie lip mask. So I'm just gonna put this on while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Mm. I don't think I've, have I tried a lip mask from ColourPop? I don't think so. I've used the lip scrub before, but not a mask. It feels nice. I mean, I don't think it's gonna beat my Laneige, but it smells good, tastes good. That will moisturize my lips while we're playing with the rest of the makeup. So something that also came in the kit was this Snow Cute Mini Glitterly Obsessed kit. So in here there are four adorable little glitters. See how pretty those are? Now this is the only thing that I'm not going to use today because I have zero interest in these little glitters. I'm never ever ever going to use them. So I'm actually going to give this away as a Christmas gift to my cousin. So that's going to the side, but I did want to show you what it looked like. The caps also have the cute little Hello Kitty on top. Now let's go into the palette that you guys can purchase right now if you want it. I mean, I don't know about right now, but you got a cute little snow globe. My heart is so happy. I'm keeping these boxes. I just, they did Mulan, they did Hello Kitty. I love it. The packaging itself is the same. And then you get a nice little 9 p.m. palette. It says slay all day. And it's a nice light palette. I mean, there's nothing special about this palette. The collection as a whole, if we're talking the makeup, <laughs> 
I mean, it didn't really interest me. It was just the cute Hello Kitty packaging. And you guys know I'm a collector. I love Hello Kitty. That's what it was all about for me. But let's play with the shadows. Let me pop on a little bit more concealer. Right now I'm doing a wear test between the new ELF CC cream and then the good old classic It Cosmetics CC cream. So half and half ELF It Cosmetics in case you want to judge right now. If that video is not up, it should be up soon. Let's just play with it. Like I said, the colors themselves, I'm not really expecting much from. I'm not really expecting to love this. Let's do Burr Baby. It's a really pretty light baby pink. I'm not gonna do a special look. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really moved by this palette. I just think it's cute. Okay, I mean, that shade is okay. And then we're gonna go in with Snow Globe right here. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Ooh, that's got some pigment. Okay, very pretty, very pretty. I feel like I've had very good luck with ColourPop this year. I know some people were saying that they have like a new formula that's not very good. They've been messing around with their formulas. I don't know, I feel like the stuff that I picked up from them, I haven't had any problems with. I just, I like their shadow formula. I think it's easy, it's workable, and that's great for the price. Like, I don't think the shadow quality is amazing by any means, but it's a $16 palette, you know? And I'm gonna take some more of Snow Globe. I'm just gonna run that along the whole lower lash line here. Going very pink today. I'm gonna take the first brush and we're just gonna add a little bit of this peach color. This is called Ice Skates. I'm gonna run this right along the outer edges of both the lower part of both the crease and the lower lash line, just for a nice pop of coral. Let's just go straight in for the depth. This is called Snow Wear. Now all the mattes in here, they do have that ColourPop glitter situation happening, but it normally wipes away, but it is annoying when it gets all over your face. So this is pulling a little bit more berry than I expected. And you see, like, I just find their shadows workable. Maybe they're not the most pigmented. Maybe they don't give the most depth, but they just work. You know, you see how easily I was able to blend this out. I'm liking this look a lot more than I anticipated. I'm going to run that shade on the outer half of my lower lash line. I'm going to wipe this brush off. So I'm going to take some of Igloo Blues and I'm going to put this in the inner part like so. So this one doesn't give as much depth as I was hoping and it's really, really powdery. I'm gonna take just a touch more of Ice Skates because I want more of that peach to come through. You can see it's quite pigmented. I'm gonna wipe my brush off a little bit. I'm gonna take Cuddle Weather, which is a lilac shade. It has a little bit of a pink shift to it. I wish it had a little bit more depth because the color is a bit icier than I would like just for the specific look that I'm doing. I'm still leaving a little bit of space. Okay, and now we're gonna go into Winterfold. This looks so pretty, but I wish they were more like colorful, like they're pulling too icy. Like this looks like a really, really icy color as opposed to a peach pinky color. And the lilac has a little bit more purple to it, but it still is like too white. Like the shift is almost white as you can see so i'm actually really not too in love i'm going to reapply some depth to the inner and outer corner because the middle is so white to me i'm actually not really a big fan of the shimmers in here they're just not what i would have put in the palette but it is like a wintry palette so i don't know i don't know and then finally we're gonna go in with Fuzzy Mittens. I really want to bright up this area because I added too much pink, so it makes me look like I have pink eye. Really, really pretty look. I mean, overall, the look is really pretty. I don't think this palette is anything to write home about. Like, if you're not a fan of Hello Kitty, I wouldn't recommend this palette. Only if you're a fan of Hello Kitty would I recommend it. Also in the collection, there are two blushes. I love ColourPop's blushes. I think they're so good and they're so cute. So this first one here 
is at Frost Sight. Really fun kind of bubblegum pink color. The second one is Bundled Up, which is a little bit more neutral tones. I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna go for the bubblegum pink, but both are great color pairings with this palette. Like they go so well. We're gonna, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this wash of pink everywhere and then I'm gonna put, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna apply this. See, and even though it like looks like an intimidating pink, do you see how pretty it is on the cheek? I really, really like it. It's a legitimately pretty blush, but I'm a big like pink blush fan. So that's where that's coming from. For the heck of it, I'm gonna take a little bit of bundled up. I'm gonna put it more back here because it does have a little bit of depth compared to the original, compared to the first one that I put on, kind of blend them. Not too big, but I just think ColourPop has a bomb blush formula for what you're paying, you know? By the way, I use a bling brush F14, which is like such a good brush for blush. All right, I'm actually gonna do highlight and lashes and all of that, and then we'll be back to do the lips. All right, so lashes are on. All of the details will be down in the description box. I do have the ColourPop O Snap Lip Liner on. This is one of my favorites. So the last thing that came with the Hello Kitty set was the big surprise Lux Gloss Trio. I already have them out. Here's what they look like, so cute. And I did swatch them for you. And you can see like these don't have much color. They're pretty much clear with glitter. So you don't need all three. I mean, they only sold them in a trio. I'm just gonna put on So Chilly, which is the pink one. And it has such cute packaging. Like that's, that's why you purchased this. Again, pretty much a clear gloss. There's not gonna be any difference between any of the three. Um, that's really pretty. It's just like a nice clear gloss. You're gonna need a color underneath. And I mean, that's the point of look. I just wanted to sit down and play with you guys and just see what this was all about. Uh, my final thoughts on the collection, like. I, don't, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think there's anything special about any of the items in this collection. Only buy this if you like Hello Kitty and you're into buying makeup for the packaging because the packaging for this is everything. The nostalgia for me makes it worth it. I do not regret the purchase at all. I think my favorite thing has to be the blushes just because I think they're legitimately good quality and legitimately good colors. But the eyeshadow palette was eh. The gloss trio, I think, is a bit of a waste of money because there are three glosses of the same color. The lip scrub set, actually, surprisingly, is also one of my favorite things. Uh, I don't need it, but the flavors are really nice and my lips are nice and moisturized. And then I'm not a fan of their little glitters. So, yeah, I mean, there we are. I just wanted to play. I kind of knew uh, my expectations weren't high. I'll be honest, my expectations were very high for this collection. Nothing about the makeup itself excited me. It was the packaging, but the look I came out with, really, really cute. I do really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Let me know if you have any questions about the collection at all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.